Hello everyone, I'm Robin Coburn at craftshipprint.com and today I'm going to show you how to make one of my rolled edge cards. It features layers of plain paper printed on both sides and rolled back with an overlaying bouquet of flowers, uh, some butterflies, a ribbon and a greeting label. There are a variety of greeting labels in the kit. Um, it comes with the cover, insert and the layers. It fits in a 5 inch by 7 inch standard envelope. I've printed all the sheets. Um, the sheet that you roll the edges of, I've printed on plain paper at the highest quality setting that my printer will allow. Um, I'll show you what I did with the printer because we want to end up with the patterns the reverse on the other side. So we end up with them like that. I've also printed two of the insert piece. I'm going to use them like that on the inside. There's the cover and our decoupage layers. So first of all we need to measure the pieces for the top here. Um, <clears throat> These are quite generous in size, so you won't have any trouble cutting out the pieces. Um, the top piece, which I'm using the pink, needs to be 8 centimetres by 16.7. So I'm going to cut that out on my guillotine. The other piece needs to be 10 centimetres by 16.7. When printing the paper for the curled layers, print it once and then flip it over lengthwise, depending on how your printer feeds things through. Then feed it back into the printer and print the same sheet again. What you're aiming for is to have this pattern on the back of this half and vice versa. So now I have my two pieces cut to size. Before we start curling those we need to score down the center of the card cover and fold. Then with each of these pieces you need to find the center. The easiest way is to just line it up over the card cover and make a mark. Then with each of these we're going to cut a slot part way across, about two thirds of the way. Now we want to roll the edges up so that they line up with the picture. So you just adjust it until it lines up. And you can squash it in the middle, not all the way, so that it will stay. I'm going to put a dot of glue under there. Actually, I might use uh, tape. Do the same for the lower half, lining it up with that, and then the same thing 
with the underneath sheet after we cut a slot along the middle about two thirds of the way. So I've rolled this layer up to the position, lining it up there. Let it unroll a bit. Put some double sided tape underneath. Roll it back up. Squash it down in the middle. So next we're going to attach these layers to the top. I'm going to use double sided tape. And then we'll be adding decoupage layers. First of all the ribbon. Be careful not to squash the rolls of paper when you put your double sided tape on. Similarly when you put it on top, just be gentle. I'm using thin double sided tape uh, to attach the ribbon. Further layers, I'll be using uh, foam tape. bit more tape under that edge. With the butterflies I'm just going to put a little bit of PVA glue under one wing. Add my greeting label with foam tape. Now all that's left to do is add the inserts inside. You may also be wondering how to uh, put this in the mail without our layers being crushed. Um, normally with decoupage cards I would put a piece of bubble wrap over the flowers inside the envelope. Uh, with this one you could also use um, a small piece of foam if, if you have anything similar. Just cut some small blocks. This is probably a little large but it will definitely stop things getting crushed. Just put them in a few strategic places and uh, then I would also put that over the top and 
it definitely won't get crushed. And there we have it, our rolled edge card.